fixing the voting system and giving credit where credit is due. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. I'll be up front with you. I've butted heads with Mark Mayran, Canada's chief electoral officer, for years. I've found this man to be arrogant at times, thumbing his nose at the will of Parliament on how the voting system should work and bills that they had just passed. But when it comes to his claim that we need to change how the voter information card is used, well, I see he's making some points and willing to admit that there are problems in the current system. Now, we brought you this story about what I incorrectly called the voter identification card. He corrected me. It's the voter information card. And problems with its distribution. 25 million were sent out for the last election. 1.1 million had problems, including half a million that had the incorrect information, 300,000 that couldn't be delivered, more than 200,000 sent out to people thought to be dead, and 57,500 sent out to people who were not citizens. So why then, as he releases his report, as he gets set to retire, is Mayran saying that the Elections Act should be changed so that the voter information card c could be used as identification at the polls in conjunction with another piece of ID? He gives the example of an elderly person in a long-term care facility whose main ID documents are quite often somewhere else with their families. People living in long-term care facilities, most of them leave their documents with their family members. So when they go cast a ballot, they don't really have a form, a, a piece of document establishing where they live. Yet we know where they live. They live in a long-term care facility. So the uh, recommendation here is to provide some flexibility to address those who face significant barriers. I'm not sure that I buy Mayoran's argument completely, but I, I'll concede he could have a point. But are we being strict enough on the other forms of ID? But here's where I will give him credit. On those 57,500 non-citizens sent a voter ID card, Mayrand acknowledges that there's a problem. And one of his recommendations to Parliament is that citizenship and immigration be allowed to share information with Elections Canada on non-citizen permanent residents living in the country so they can match against their national role of electors. So that they can take people off the voters list that don't belong there. And for this, I say we've got to give him credit because he's acknowledging a real problem. There is an estimate that uh, there's a number of non-citizens on the register of electors. And one way to identify those non-citizens would be to get access to citizens and immigration database on non-citizens that are present in Canada. So that would allow us to validate uh, uh, these people either way, whether they are citizens or whether they, they, are, they, they are not. There are an awful lot of recommendations in Mayran's report, some good, some bad, some indifferent, but lots of changes being recommended. One thing that we'll get into later on is he says you can't just go changing the voting system unless there's broad support. As we know right now, that doesn't quite exist. Hope you liked what you just saw. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's free, and that'll make sure you never miss another Rebel video. Or if you want even more from The Rebel, head over to therebel.media and become a premium member.